Hello. I'm essentially a creator and cooking is a creation process for me. During these episodes, what I will be focusing on is a fusion of Sri Lankan and global cuisine. And I have Abans here helping me, uh, making my life so much easier. I take so much of pleasure in the amalgamation of different colours, different flavours and different nuances, the smells and the whole sensation of it all. I'll be focusing a lot on Sri Lankan flavours, incorporating unique Sri Lankan spices and herbs such as curry leaves and the Sri Lankan curry powder and focusing on our heritage and culture. So stick with me, I have recipes and I have the craziest things to share with you guys. With the brands LG, Mistral, Elba, Felix, Pyrex and BNB Bakeware which makes the baking and the cooking process so much more convenient. This is homemade. So how many of you buy jars of peanut butter from the supermarket? Pretty sure there are a few hands going up right now. And I used to do the same until I learned to make peanut butter right at home. And all I needed was my trusty Mistral air fryer and my Aban's food processor. So to start off, I have 500 grams of raw peanut here. You can get raw peanut from any store. And I need raw peanut because some of the varieties of peanut that you have in the supermarket already have salt in it. And I don't want that salty stuff to go in my peanut butter. Because you know the peanut butter that you get at the store has all kinds of preservatives, sweeteners and a lot of salt in them. So the kind of peanut butter that I'm going to make today is going to be the healthy version and it's going to be the perfect option for your kids to take for breakfast as well. To start off, I'm going to roast my peanut in my Mistral air fryer. So just chuck the lot in. I'm going to need a temperature of around 200 degrees and for about 15 minutes and now we let it do its trick and we take a break. So my peanuts are done and I've let it cool for a little while but not quite cold because I need the peanuts to be sufficiently warm for it to release its natural oils. So let's begin assembling the peanut butter. I need the Aban's food processor for that and it comes with so many blades. If you take um, these blades, for example, you have different types of uh, blades for slicing, cutting and uh, grating, whatever you name it and it's very versatile and it also comes with a grinder and a uh, blender with a filter which allows you to make your fruit juices here without the pulp. But today the blade that I'm going to use is the chopping blade which is the all versatile blade that I use for all kinds of cutting and chopping. So let me just take the peanuts out and I'm just going to straight away put the peanuts into my food processor. So now we are going to pulse this for a little while and if you want your peanut butter a little crunchy, you need to make sure that you don't pound it until it becomes smooth. Just let me show you how it's done. So if you want your peanut butter crunchy at this stage, 
you need to take about two large spoonfuls of it if you can see the texture and keep it aside for later use because we are going to grind the rest of the peanuts into a smooth pulp. I love my peanut butter crunchy so just a little bit of extra crunchiness for me. And you continue to pulse the rest until it reaches a smooth consistency. While that is going on, I'm going to add just a little pinch of salt. I'm going to add honey, about two tablespoons of honey. But if you are going for a vegan option, you can use pickle trickle and any kind of sweetener that you want. You can smell the peanuts from here itself. Because it's starting to release its natural oils, you are going to add your two tablespoons of olive oil into this. And now I am just going to let it do its magic and create itself into this beautiful, creamy, thick peanut butter that you want. So the peanut butter has reached this smooth consistency. I am going to add the rest of the ground peanuts in right now. We are done. So this is my peanut butter and the texture is crunchy because I like my peanut butter crunchy. So let's just take this out. If you can see the consistency, it's not smooth. The part of it is smooth, but for most of the part, you still get the crunch bits that provide that extra bite when you are biting into it. So what I'm now going to do is put it in my jar. I think our jar has had its fill. So. What can you do with peanut butter? You can have it on bread, the traditional way, or you can do what I do. Set it up with different croutons. I have a simple cracker here, so I'm just going to put a dollop of peanut butter on a few crackers. I call this my peanut butter tasting plate. And then you get the carrot sticks. This is a healthy, healthy alternative to your regular peanut butter sandwich. And then my ultimate favorite, the stuffed dates. I've taken out the seed of the date and I'm going to stuff it now with peanut butter. The fact that the peanut butter is crunchy is going to give this date so much of texture and so much of flavor. So much of things that you can do with one jar of peanut butter. And what I made here is a platter that you can serve at any gathering. It can be made vegan. And if that is vegan, this is your perfect appetizer platter right in front of you. It didn't take much time and it only took my Mistral Air Fryer and my Aban's food processor to get into this. And there's this beautiful nuttiness that comes from the peanuts having been roasted in the Mistral Air Fryer. And what I love the most about this particular peanut butter is that you get to control the sweetness. And I've added some honey into it and you get that hit of sweetness with a little bit of saltiness that I've added here. This is a simple dish that I made using the Mistral air fryer and my trusty food processor from Abans. As a 
hardworking woman, making food quickly on week dinners is extremely important to me. So this is one such recipe that I have concocted out of sheer desperation to whip up something quickly for dinner. So I call this my cabbage and chicken in one single pan and in my Alba oven. So first we are going to start with the marinade for the chicken. So for that I am going to use my Philips grinder and I need about six cloves of garlic and a bit of ginger and pepper, a pinch of salt, three tablespoons of soy sauce. one tablespoon of sesame oil and one quarter cup of coconut oil so all of this I am going to spritz up in my Philips grinder My marinade is now ready. It's an oily divine goodness. So all of this is going into my chicken. I'm going to get right in with my fingers and mix this all in. So I'm going to let this marinate until my oven preheats and until then I'm going to prep my cabbage. Let me set this aside. Alright, so while the chicken is marinating, I'm going to prep my cabbage. This beautiful head of cabbage, it's organic. So I have soaked it in a bowl of water with vinegar and salt to get rid of all those pollutants. So let me get rid of this right now. So first of all, I'm going to cut off the bottom part of it. And then I'm just going to cut this whole thing into wedges. I have my cabbage wedges and I'm just going to toss it all in this pan. Just roughly break it. To this, I'm going to add the usual seasonings, coconut oil, soy sauce, Two tablespoons, sesame oil, salt, the indispensable salt, and of course pepper. Use your fingers again to lightly coat everything so our chicken has been marinating for about half an hour now and I am going to lay this chicken on top of the cabbage I've used skin on born in chicken for this recipe because I found that Skin on, born in chicken, has the most amount of flavor when it comes to baking and cooking. Because you want a crispy skin on that chicken. So this has to go now into the oven, our preheated oven. Two hundred degrees 
uh, for about 20 minutes and in the middle you have to turn the chicken so that that beautiful crust gets formed on the underside as well as on the top side and you need to wait until the cabbage crisps up beautifully around the edges so now we wait So I think my chicken is ready now. The last time I looked it had a beautiful crackly skin and I'm pretty sure that it's cooked right way to the middle. I am hit with that beautiful garlicky flavour, sesame oil and the coconut oil. Look at that. This is what I'm talking about. Good hearty food cooked from the heart. So I will plate this up. I can't wait to dig in. So I'm going to first take some cabbage. I want some charred bits if you can see this. It's charred at the edges. and then the crispy skinned chicken. A healthy gluten-free weeknight dinner. And there you have it, my easy weeknight dinner in my Elba freestanding cooker. It's so easy that all you have to do is just chop up some cabbage and season some chicken and just pop it all in the oven. And this is something I resort to when I need something healthy. The smell is making me salivate, so I'm just going to dig in. Bit of cabbage. The cabbage is crunchy. It's just about charred, if you can see this. Mm. It's got that heat of sesame from the sesame oil and the coconut oil. And that umami from the soy sauce helps really well to lift up that dish. Let's try the chicken. If you can see, the skin is very crispy. And I will take a bit from this side. Mm. That just put a smile on my face right there. Because that skin is absolutely gorgeous. This is crisp, crisp on the outside and the flesh is beautifully falling off the bone so it's very moist and delicious. So all those beautiful flavors that I merged into this marinade, the garlic, the ginger, the sesame oil, the soy sauce, everything has seeped into that chicken flesh making it all the more flavorful but it's not too overpowering so that the chicken flavor really shines through. And I think this is an absolute winner for any weeknight dinner, even if you're having people over, you can serve this and it would be an absolute crowd pleaser. Hello. I'm essentially a creator and cooking is a creation process for me. During these episodes, what I will be focusing on is a fusion of Sri Lankan and global cuisine. And I have Abans here helping me, uh, making my life so much easier. I take so much of pleasure in the amalgamation of different colours, different flavours and different nuances, the smells and the whole sensation of it all. I'll be focusing a lot on Sri Lankan flavours, incorporating unique Sri Lankan spices, and herbs such as uh, curry leaves and the Sri Lankan curry powder and focusing on our heritage and culture. So stick with me, I have recipes and I have the craziest things to share with you guys. With the brands LG, Mistral, Elba, Philips, Pyrex and b, &B Bakeware, 
which makes the baking and the cooking process so much more convenient. This is homemade.